summary of digestion. So we talked about each of the organs. Now we're going to talk about where each of the polymers are, um, are broken down. So there are carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. And so let's talk about carbohydrates first. So these are all delicious carbohydrates here. And um, polysaccharides are the polymers for carbs. Polysaccharides are broken down to disaccharides in the mouth with um, that enzyme salivary amylase made in the salivary glands. And then later in the small intestine. And it's not even an enzyme from the small intestine. It's an enzyme from the pancreas. So the mouth has enzymes from the salivary glands. And the small intestine gets some of its enzymes from the pancreas. And so the next thing that we need to do is break down disaccharides. So in the last slide, you saw polysaccharides being broken down into these, a disaccharide. So these are two sugars bonded together. If you break that bond, you get a monosaccharide and a monosaccharide. So disaccharides are broken down to monosaccharides by enzymes in the, what's the answer to everything? Small intestine. Thank you, small intestine. So these are just some examples. So maltase is an enzyme that breaks down the sugar. Malt, let's see, what do sugars end with? Oh yeah, os. So maltase breaks down maltose. Sucrase is an enzyme that breaks down sucrose. So sucrose is a disaccharide. When you break that down, the sucrose gets broken up into um, the monosaccharides that it's made out of. Lactase is an enzyme that breaks down lactose. So for example, this could be the sugar lactose. And if you are lactose intolerant, it might be because you don't have the lactase enzyme. So you might not be able to break this bond right here. And here's a video that I've attached in its learning that won't work for me um, as a screen capture. Okay, protein digestion. This is a polypeptide and it's being broken down into still polypeptides but smaller ones, so I'll just call them peptides. So enzymes in the, we start with the stomach for proteins. Um, enzymes in the stomach break down proteins to peptides or polypeptides to smaller peptides. So you're breaking a bond, let's say, um, right here. And then there are more enzymes that are in the pancreas, but they work in the small intestine. So pancreatic enzymes in the small intestine break bro proteins down into, again, smaller peptides. So here's a peptide that's made out of just one, two, three, four amino acids. And so the last step is to break these smaller peptides um, with enzymes down into these amino acids. So enzymes on the small intestine wall break peptides into the monomers are called amino acids. Lipid digestion. <coughs> so the first thing you need to do is physically break up lipids, and so you do that with bile. So bile physically breaks down lipids to increase their surface area. There are no chemical bonds. It's just that you have this lipid, and if you break it down into little pieces, you get that much extra surface area. So this outer part here was already exposed to the enzymes, but all this inner stuff here, 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 that's all more space for the enzymes to go and get them. And so most of the enzymes um, for this is secreted by the pancreas. So pancreatic enzymes break lipids, to, uh, break lipids into fatty acids and glycerol in the, again, right in here, the small intestine. And here's a picture of that. So here's glycerol and three fatty acids. If you break these bonds, then you're going to be left with one glycerol and three fatty acid molecules. Nucleic acid digestion, the whole thing happens in the small intestine. So pancreatic enzymes in the small intestine break nucleic acids down into nucleotides. And so here's a picture of this. Here's a nucleic acid. It's not showing you the other side of its DNA. But here's um, a nucleotide. So if you break that bond and that bond and that bond and that bond, you're going to get these individual nucleotides. And those are the monomers for nucleic acids. And then there's another enzyme, um, a set of enzymes, that work in the small intestine wall. And they break a nucleotide down to sugar. That's this thing. Phosphate, which is this thing. And the base, or the nitrogenous base, is this. OK, 
Okay, so now what I need you to do is go back to page, I want to say it's page two of your notes. And you already have some stuff written in. You already told me that polysaccharides are broken down to disaccharides, which are broken down to monosaccharides. And so what we need to do now is talk about the enzymes. So polysaccharides are broken down in your mouth by the enzyme salivary amylase. So salivary amylase in the mouth, that comes from the salivary glands. And then later in the small intestine with pancreatic amylase. So pancreatic amylase in the small intestine. And lumen is just another word for um, the space inside the small intestine, so you don't need to put that in. <laughs> so please pause this. You can get a chance to write that in, and I'm going to go on. Disaccharides are these double sugars. They look like this. And they're broken down by various enzymes into monosaccharides, which look like this. So, for example, sucrase, maltase, and lactase are disaccharide breaking down enzymes, and they're in the small intestine wall. The next one is lipid digestion, and we're breaking down um, mainly the source of energy you have are triglycerides. And so you should already have triglycerides, and then breaking them down into fatty acids and glycerol. You should already have that written in. The enzyme is lip with an ace on it, so that's lipase, and it's from the pancreas, so it's pancreatic lipase in the small intestine. Again, just the space in the small intestine. Okay, protein digestion. So you should already have this stuff in. Polypeptides are broken down into smaller peptides, which are broken down to amino acids. It starts in the stomach. So there's an enzyme called pepsin in the stomach. And then it continues in the small intestine with enzymes from the pancreas. So pancreatic proteases. This is protein with an ACE. That means it's an enzyme. In the small intestine, again, just the small intestine is good for that. And then the last one, peptid peptide, peptid, aces. So these are enzymes that break peptides down all the way to amino acids. This last thing, by the way, is what's going to get absorbed um, into the blood. So you can actually add that into your notes if you want to. If you go backwards, let's go all the way back to carbs. So you can take the, this and just make a little note. This, this is what's going to get absorbed into blood. And same thing almost with the fats. Fatty acids and glycerol are what's going to get absorbed. It'll actually get absorbed into something else besides blood. It's um, a liquid that's in um, lymph vessels, lacteals. <coughs> but anyway, if you put absorbed to blood, it's good enough for my class. Proteins. And you can put amino acids get absorbed into blood. So, whoops. So the idea here is that these are small enough to get absorbed right through a cell membrane, so absorbed into blood. Once the stuff, once the amino acids are in your blood, they can go all around your whole body. And maybe you're building muscle, so the amino acids would go from your um, small intestine into your blood and then around your whole body to the muscles that are being built. Nucleic acid digestion. You should already have nucleic acids, which are broken down to nucleotides, <coughs> which are sorry, which are broken down to sugar, phosphates, and bases. Here's your monomer. This is what your monomer is made out of. So nucleic acids are broken down by pancreatic nucleases, again in the small intestine. And then we have nucleotide aces. So you just take this word nucleotide and put an ACE on the end of it, and that's your enzyme, and that's in the small intestine. So again, if you're not sure of the answer, it is very likely small intestine. So carb digestion starts in the mouth, protein digestion starts in the stomach, everything else starts and ends in the small intestine, and everything else is absorbed out of the small intestine into blood. So. I already wrote that it's in the small intestine here, so you're going from the small intestine into blood. And that's uh, that's the story. Okay, so enzyme names usually end with what suffix? Super, super, super important. Ose is for sugar, so you should know that, but even more important, ACE is for enzymes, and I made up those two. Most enzymes are proteins. 
what do proteases break down? Well, let's see. Protein. Oh, that looks like protein. Yep, it is. Why are proteases released in an inactive form from the organ that made them? We talked about this very briefly. It's because your body's made out of protein. Um, so let's see. So they don't digest the organ. That's the answer. You don't want to digest the organ that's making the enzymes. What changes pepsin from its inactive form to its active form? I think I talked about this. That's the acid, the hydrochloric acid that's in there. What do lipases break down? Well, this looks a whole lot like lipids, so let's go with that. Yep. Amylase is the only hard one. I don't know how to get you to remember that that breaks down carbs or polysaccharides, but it does. Nucleases, well that looks sort of like nucle nucleic acids, and there it is. Why isn't bile an enzyme? It's because it physically breaks stuff down. So that would be choice A, it doesn't chemically break anything down. Besides bile, what other important thing does the liver do? I don't think I talked about this, but it's super important. It detoxifies blood, meaning it removes poison. So you can pause this and make a little note that your liver detoxifies blood. This is actually pretty important. Um, if you've ever known someone who's an alcoholic, sometimes they um, die of liver damage or um, maybe cirrhosis of the liver you might have heard of. And it's because the body's spending so much time detoxifying all that alcohol out of their blood. And that's it for the digestive system. Thank you for playing.